Hi everybody. Uh, now we are going to see binary search tree deletion. So deletion involves three cases. So the first case is we, we may be attempting to delete a node which is a leaf. We can attempt to delete a node which is having only one child and we can attempt a node to delete which is having two children. So uh, for all these three cases we have to write code separately. Whenever you are writing the pseudocode for delete, you have to call the search function and then only you have to write the other codes. So let us see uh, each case is how to write code. Now deletion of leaf node. So generally uh, first line will be identifying the case. How will you say that a node is a leaf node? When the left child and the right child of a particular node is equal to null, it is a leaf node at leaf. So that is the first condition. Then suppose in this example, I am trying to delete 2. So if I am deleting 2, I will uh, search the binary search tree. I will call the binary search tree with the key 2. So that the temp and the parent node will be located. So 2 is the temp node and uh, the parent of 2 is 4. So this is located just by calling the search function. After that, how will I delete this? So manually uh, what I will do, I want to check whether my temp is at the left child or right child. So if it is at the left child, I want to make the temp node as null. That is, that is all. So another example, I am deleting a node at 5. So how will I identify that 5 is a leaf node? If it is a L child and R child is equal to null, then temp is at leaf. So what I will do, my parents, my temp is present as L child of parent or R child of parent. It is present as R child of parent. So I want to make parents R child is null. This is what I am doing manually. The same thing goes for the code. So if temps left child is equal to equal to null and temps R child equal to equal to null. So this line identifies that the node I am going to delete is at leaf. So I have identified. The next thing. There are two cases, the temp can be the left child of parent or the temp can be the right child of parent. So, if parents L child equal to equal to temp, what I am doing, I am making that as null. Parents L child is equal to null. Else, the meaning is parents right child is null. So, else parents R child is equal to null. The code is over. So, we have to deallocate the memory free of temp. If we want, we can uh, print that the deleted, this is the deleted node. For that, print of deleted node is temp of value. So, this is how we have to uh, write the code for deletion with leaf. So, what we are doing, the first line we are identifying that this is the node at leaves. For that, temp of L child and R child must be equal to equal to null. So, if parents L child is temp, make that as null. Else, make parents R child as null. Then, deallocate the memory. That's all. The next one is deletion of node with one child. So, this is an example. Manually, how we will do? This is the node I am going to delete 4. So, this is having only one child. For that, what I will do? I will delete this 4 and I will make this uh, temp's L child as parent's L child. So, this is the way I have to do manually. So, we are, uh, there, is, there are two cases. I can attempt to delete the parent's left child or parent's right child. Sorry, temp's left child or temp's right child. Both the cases are that. So, this is the first case. I am trying to delete a node temp which is having L child. So, I am having two examples. I am trying to delete 4 in this example and I am trying to delete 9 in this example. So, if temp's L child is not equal to null, that means we are having some left child. So, if temp's L child is not equal to null and temp's right child is equal to equal to null. For this condition, what is the thing? Always the node I am going to delete is having one child that is located as the left hand side, L child. So that is the case. For this I am going to write code. In For this case, my temp can be as the left subtree or the right subtree. So I have to identify that. If parents L child is temp or parents R child is temp. So if parents L child is temp means I want to make parents L child as temp's left child. I am making this connectivity. So, parents L child is equal to temps L child. Else, this example, parents R child will be temps L child. So, anyway, in this case, the temp is having only L child. So, I want to make the temps L child to be 
parents child so if the temp is at the left side i'll make parents l child is equal to temp of l child else the meaning is temp is at right side so parents r child is equal to temp's l child i'm printing that this is the value of temp we are going to delete and i'm deallocating the memory with the help of temp so i have deleted i have written the code for deleting a uh, node which is having one child that is located as left side now for right side the condition varies so if temp of l child will be equal to null and temp of r child is not equal to null for this case i'm going to delete a node which is having r child the node to be deleted is named as temp so temp can be at left side or right side so if uh, the condition goes like if temp's l child is equal to null and temp's r child is not equal to null for this i'm having two cases the temp can be at left side or the temp can be at right side so i want to identify that if parents l child is equal to temp i'm locating uh, temp's right child to be the parents left child else i'm locating temp's right child to be parents r child so anywhere in the right hand side i'll have only temp's right child if my temp is at uh, l child i'll make the temp's right child to be parents left child else if my temp is at the right hand side i'll make parents right child as temp's right child and uh, printing the value and deallocating the memory with the help of uh, free function so now we are going to see deletion of node with two children so manually how we will delete a node with two children so here in this example in this tree i am going to delete four so if i want, want to delete four i have to make either the temp place will be remaining same in this place instead of four i'll be uh, assigning the maximum element in the left subtree or the minimum element in the right subtree so here i am not having a big subtree i am having only one node i am considering uh, the right subtree's minimum value that is pi i have placed here We'll see one more example for more clarity the same thing same tree i'm taking instead of four i'm trying to delete six so six is having left subtree and right subtree i am considering the minimum element in the right subtree and i'm placing it here so what is my minimum element in the right subtree always for finding the minimum element uh, i'll go to the leftmost node so first i'm coming to the right subtree and I am moving to the leftmost node that is 8. So in the place of 6 I am placing 8. And I am deleting this location. So actually uh, we won't be deleting the temp node. We want to delete the node that is the successor of this temp. So I am having a node suck. And the successor is moved to the rightmost in the right subtrees minimum child. So minimum child will be at the leftmost position. So I'm going to the right subtree and I'm moving to the leftmost position for finding my minimum. So instead of this, this is one way. The other way, we can uh, place the maximum element in the left subtree also. So both the ways we can do. Uh, in this uh, lecture, we are following that we are placing the minimum node at the right subtree. So how to write the coding we have we can see one more example so this is this uh, tree i am going to delete 11 so what i am doing first i am coming making the successor node to be the right ch uh, child then in this right subtree i am moving my successor node to the leftmost position so that i can find the minimum value in the left subtree so i am moving how will i know that this is the leftmost when my left child is becoming null that is the meaning that I have reached the leftmost element. So this will be my minimal element. I will replace the temps value with this successor value and I will delete this successor. That is I will make the successor null. So if I want to make the successor null, I want to know the parent of the successor. So this is with this uh, knowledge, we can start writing the code. So the first line, always will locate this case. So what is the case? The temporary, uh, the temp node is having two children when will you say that it is having two children the l child and not r child are not equal to null so if temps l child is not equal to null and temps r child is not equal to null this is the condition for entering this case so what we are doing uh, we are making the temp and the parent to be the same node so parent is equal to temp now first step 
I am moving, I am naming a new node successor which is at the right subtree, the first node of the right subtree. So, successor is equal to or uh, temps right child is equal to successor is equal to temps right child. So, uh, I am naming a node successor that is temps right child. So, successor is equal to temps right child. Now, what I am doing, I want to make this successor to be my minimal node in the left subtree. So, again this tree is a very small tree, I can also have a very big tree. So, what I am doing, I am moving the successor again and again to the successor's left child. So, successor is equal to successor's left child. How long I am doing when my successor's L child is not equal to null. One more task I have to do is, I have to move the parent also, I have to track the parent also. The reason is, I am making the successor node to be null. So, how will I make that parent's L child should be equal to null. For that reason, I am uh, tracking the parent also. So, the successor's position is to be the parent's position. While successor's L child is not equal to null, parent is equal to successor, successor is equal to successor of L child. This means, at every time, the previous value of successor will be made as the parent. So, parent is equal to successor. Then, successor value is moved to the L child. So, successor is equal to successor of L child. This is the code. Now, I have reached, I have marked the successor node. Now, what I have to do? I want to make the temp's value as successor value. So, temp of value is equal to successor of value. Now, I have set the this node. Now, I want to delete this node. So, I have to know whether that the node I am going, so I am going to delete the successor node. So, successor is parents L child. In this case, my successor is being parents L child. In this case, my successor is being parents R, R child. So, I am having two cases. So, if my uh, successor is at parents right child, I want to make parents right child as null. If my successor is at left child of parent, I want to make parents left child as null. So, this is, this is the what I want to write as code. So, if parents L child is equal to successor, parents L child is equal to null. Else, parents R child is equal to null. So, my task is over. I am deallocating the memory free of sucks. So, uh, for the previous cases, we deleted or deallocated the memory of temp. Here, we are making the temp value to be successor value and then we are deleting the successor node. So, the code is first we are identifying the that this is a node with two children. So, L child and R child should not be equal to null. Then we are making the parent to be temp. Then we are uh, first coming to the right side, right subtree of the temp. So, successor is equal to temp's R child. So, we have come there. Now, we want to locate the minimum value at the right subtree. For that, I am moving my successor to the L child, leftmost part of the tree. So, I am doing it again and again till my L child is not equal to null. So, while uh, successor of L child is not equal to null, successor is equal to successor of L child. I have to track its parent also. So, parent is equal to successor because the previous successor value will be retained by uh, in the parent term. So, parent is equal to successor. I am doing it again and again. So, I have located my successor node. That is the minimal value of the right subtree. Now, I want to copy the successor value in the temps node. That is the next task. Temps of, temp of value is equal to successor of value. I have done that. Now, I want to delete that term. So, I am having two cases. The successor can be at the parent's right child or parent's left child. So, if uh, parents L child is equal to successor, parents L child is equal to null. Else, parents R child is equal to null. I have, my task is over. I can deallocate the memory for successor. So, this is how I will delete the node which is having two children. So, in the next uh, lecture series, we are having many other topics uh, to be covered in variety of tree categories. So, stay tuned to easy tutorials. Thank you.